Hi there guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing some reviews from my rooftop. Early morning, 7 something am here. I finished my morning walk and I actually was taking pictures of these fragrances but I figured like, you know, let me do some reviews because fresh air in the morning is not so much breeze but it rained last night as you can see behind me and uh, it's like sun's coming up slow. It's going to be hot and humid day but not so much breeze but I figured out like let's do the reviews, initial impression from the rooftop. So I bought these two fragrances. I'm going to do reviews side by side, not in the same video. Two fashionable fragrances and uh, i wanted to talk about them because there's absolutely nothing on this fragrant tikka but there's not many people who used it or reviewed it so i wanted to be the first one to review this two house i mean two fragrances from the same house called fashionable and there are many fragrances from this house i actually saw before but i never bought or reviewed anything so this is going to be my very first official review of this house uh, recently one of our uh, i think perfume uh, boutique they brought this brand okay so i was interested but they didn't have a tester so last night i was like basically very tired i was sleepy and then this fragrance when i bought mabusan is the same uh, store or the distributor who bought this and i had my eyes on these because the bottles look fantastic nose breakdown looked really promising but sadly there was no review or no tester so i didn't want to blind buy but take a bullet for you guys it's not super expensive these are like 35 30 dollars uh, but uh, honestly speaking these fragrances i wanted to see and i bought them i didn't care how they're gonna be okay so i actually want to tell you how they are first one i want to review Faconable french riviera uh, it's called regatta okay edt intense this is the concentration really nice looking box i like the packaging a lot Okay, this is a 90 ml bottle by the way, this is not 100 ml, 3.0 fluid ounces and uh, they have fecundable uh, detailing right here up top, uh, really neat, clean, white box and I really like this, uh, I mean when fragrance houses they put decent packaging which I really like. The main attraction for me, I went to buy this one, I ended up buying both, this one is the bottle. And it does remind me of YSL Y O Fresh, right? And many other fragrances that has frosted glass, Dolce Gamma Light Blue. But I really feel these bottles are like, you really see them and you know. If you live in a summer dominant country, uh, you're gonna be, I should have brought water, my mouth is drying. Anyway, uh, I will try my best to finish them. Uh, so this one's when you see the packaging, you can see very lovely packaging, blue juice in there, frosted glass kind of ice, iced uh, effect and heavy, heavy glass bottle, very good quality to it okay and the cap it's hey it's plastic but got some definite quality it has uh, the detailing okay it's not picking up due to the lighting here and sprayer works okay uh, i have nothing here let me show you the spray small small burst nothing big okay these are not the best sprayers uh, but you know it clicks onto place so i like it it's really really nice and the thing is this one at first i thought it's a metal but it's a plastic stick on it moves a little bit you know so i hope it doesn't come off so really nice presentation once again and let's talk about this so when i saw the nose breakdown i immediately felt like this is going to be a summer fragrance because it has a lot of citruses up top aquatic notes a little bit of ginger i think forgot the nose breakdown exactly from fragrantica but i saw it and i'm like this is going to be a good summer fragrance for sure but one guy nobody actually commented anything on fragrantica so i wrote for both fragrance i wrote review i'm gonna review it as well so first of all how does it smell like first of all when i smell it uh, like it basically i had two reactions one thing is i smelled this dna before other one is i do not feel it's exact clone of anything i couldn't pinpoint like oh this is exact clone of something very for, i just show you some fragrances that is similar to this like i feel this is a combination of three fragrances okay but a little bit more of its own touch we'll talk about that uh, first fragrance it reminds me of i bought ck1 okay the classic citrus aromatic fragrance second fragrance reminds me of is nautica's voyage uh, the main aspect of it i'll show you again and then mostly azaro's chrome if you love those three fragrances you know those are like citrus aromatic uh, kind of like aquatic uh, summer fragrances with a lot of citruses sometimes cucumber something herbaceous something floral so if you get all those fragrances you like and you want a decent performer this is a decent performer performance was very okay above average i would say seven out of ten or seven to five seven point five out of ten for summer fragrance this is a good release for i think 2021 it's uh it's sort of like a summer release basically okay you can see so it's a light refreshing lemony a uh, little bit of durum citrus like durum cologne durum uh, sport you get that vibe from this as well but here's the nice part that it's not a pinpoint clone of anything when i smell it i know this is familiar i smell this in chrome that chrome's uh, aquatic floral vibe and then the nautica voyage 
you saw just now that one has that salty oceanic vibe which this one gives and the ck1 has this beautiful citruses this one also gives that so if you love those fragrances this is like hybrid of that with much more modern twists what are the modern touch this one doesn't feel dated okay when i smell it it has this mild metallic tone which cools me this is what is giving that cooling that bottle gives you that frosted glass feel that icy cooling feel that's coming from that for me okay and uh, basically it's a synthetic fragrance okay do not expect the most natural smelling citrus the sea breeze if you know those other fragrances, they are kind of on the designer synthetic side but not to the point of offensive or uh, disgusting but just uh, for me this is not spectacular but a very simple nice fragrance of the price that's what makes this good i would really love it if it was 100 ml uh, that would be a awesome buy overall value package wise i'll probably give this like a 9 out of 10 but if you talk about the smell longevity everything if you take consideration i gave it 7.5 in fragrantica so it's a nice little release not a must have if you have a lot of uh, like versace purum it gives me that feel as well dolce and gabbana light blue yeah it, it it gives me those vibes as well so it's a mix of <laughs> all those perfumes they made a hybrid and this house you know fashionable or fashionable i don't know what how that spells but uh, my very first impression is this is 7.5 out of 10 it's a good good release okay it's a solid release but uh, if you have all those other ones uh, you don't need it okay honestly speaking but if you wanted to get like something uh, in the same line if you love those and you wanted something new new packaging something refreshing you can try this Fakonable Regatta EDT it's, it's intense okay so it doesn't have quite the EDP performance but quite good so well 7.5 for this fragrance check it out and now review the next one next one is actually really good okay that one uh, I'm gonna review that one is called Riviera EDP we'll talk about that and uh, take care guys have a nice weekend bye bye